my children didn't deserve to go without insurance. They're kids. They have medical emergencies. Things happen. In the past year, Texas stripped Medicaid coverage from more than 2 million people, most of them children. Some lost it after federal pandemic protections ended in April 2023, and they were no longer eligible. But that was not the case for Michaela Hoops' three children. When the protections were in place, the federal government gave states billions not to remove people from Medicaid. But when those protections lifted, states were free to unwind people from Medicaid. The federal government urged them to proceed slowly so that they wouldn't wrongly kick people off. But Texas opted for speed, reviewing about 4.6 million cases in just the first six months. In all, Texas removed more people faster from Medicaid than any other state. Texas officials have acknowledged they made some mistakes, wrongly kicking off at least 95,000 people, although they said their coverage was later restored. A ProPublica and Texas Tribune review of public and private records show that those and other mistakes were preventable and foreshadowed in warnings and guidance issued by the federal government, whistleblowers, and advocates. After years of not having to renew her children's Medicaid coverage, Michaela said she was confused about when to reapply and missed the deadline to provide proof of her family's income. In other states, her children likely would have been automatically renewed using existing government data, a practice the federal government urged states to use widely during the unwinding. When I thought my children's insurance was ready for renewal. The Texas Health and Human Services Commission, they told me that that was actually the time that their benefits would end and that I couldn't renew it because I hadn't submitted the proper paperwork that they needed me to. Michaela frantically reapplied after the coverage lapsed in March, but her children had two medical emergencies in the more than 100 days it took for the state to retroactively restore their coverage. Texas's median processing time for Medicaid applications is almost three months. The federal limit, in most cases, is 45 days. The state does not want to deal with the very real and tangible need of its citizens for medical care. For the most vulnerable people in society, which are children. The Hoops family is among hundreds of thousands of Texans who have been or remain stuck in the long backlog. In May, after Texas's unwinding ended, the federal government launched an investigation into the long processing times for Medicaid applications. Some Texas families that lost Medicaid coverage during the unwinding are also waiting months for food stamps because the state uses the same eligibility system for both. We're continuing to report on these issues, so if you or someone you know is impacted by the long backlog in Texas Medicaid and food stamp applications, Please reach out to us and read our investigation linked at the bio.